hello everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and it is time for another Ask Tyler. Let's do it. Emma wants to know, how has YouTube changed your life? Well, before I used to do less cool stuff and now I get to do cool stuff. Nicole wants to know, can you put this in your video? Anything for you, Nicole, but this is the last time. If you were dared to lick a spider for $100,000, will you do it? Bitch, I am poor. Yes, I would do that. Are you joking? Are you on drugs? Are you sniffing glue? Yes. Lauren wants to know, will you sing your favorite song off of Midnight Memories? It's really hard for me to pick a favorite song from Midnight Memories. I am currently very into the song Happily by One Direction. Uh, not because of the sound of the song, but more so the message. I would sing, but I'm not drunk. It's 4 a.m. and I know you're with him. I wonder if he knows that I touched your skin. And if he feels my traces in your hair. Sorry, love, but I don't really care. I just think there's something really special about hearing five guys talk about doing their deed in some girl's hair. Dolphinisha wants to know, what are your top three tracks from Art Pop? That is very hard. I love everything except Jewels and Drugs, just like everybody else. But I would have to go with, if I could pick three singles right now, Swine, Manicure, and maybe Aura. Also, mm, ev well, everything. All of the songs. Go get Art Pop by Art Pop on iTunes. Selma wants to know, how is your stay in Michigan so far? I am loving Michigan. Uh, I got in uh, a couple days ago and I am here for a couple weeks, so it's so good to be back. Mom, come here. So like I said, I am back here in Michigan with the one and only Hi. Queen Jackie. <laughs> She's back. Hey everyone! Okay. Okay, so the people want to know how I am enjoying my stay back in Michigan. I told them I've been here for a couple days, but tell them how I got home. Um, well, I was invited over to my daughter's house Sunday for dinner. Mm -hmm. Almost didn't go because I didn't feel very good, but I thought I better go because she invited me and my grandson wanted to see me. So my grandson and my son-in-law were gone. And okay, this is getting boring. Anyway, the doorbell rings. And I think it's just my grandson, so I'm looking down and say, Merry Christmas! <laughs> and then I looked up and I went, Oh my God! Jesus Christ. And I screamed and I cried. He told me that he had to work and that he would have to miss Christmas this year, but he could come for Thanksgiving. So right. I was good about it. I was she was sad. actually, no, she was very supportive. She was like, you know what? This year has been huge. You have to keep working, keep the momentum going. You do you. He surprised me, so it was awesome. Okay, that's enough. Okay, bye. Go. All right, goodbye. Bye. If you want another video with my mom, I was thinking about filming something with her while she's uh, in my presence. So push the thumbs up. Okay, get away! <laughs> Honeybee wants to know, are there any tips you could give us for becoming a successful YouTuber? Okay, so my number one tip is always be your best self because obviously you're gonna start YouTubing because you see other people doing it and then you're probably gonna be like inspired by them, but it's like very transparent when you're just not being authentic to you. So I always say be the first rate you, not the second rate somebody else because anybody can subscribe to whoever you're trying to imitate, but if they want somebody just like you, you're the best they're gonna find. So just do you. That's, I mean, that's all I can say. Okay, so here's a question. Why didn't you freak out when Zayn followed you? Meanwhile, you made a video when Harry retweeted you. Okay, so I just want to clear this all up. This is how it happened. I was boarding a plane when Beyonce's album dropped. I was freaking out because Beyonce's album dropped. I tweeted Zayn because Zayn's middle name is Beyonce, so I asked him if he was behind this. He followed me and direct messaged me about my joke, and then we were talking, and then I tweeted about it, and I was freaking out, but I was also on a plane. Meanwhile, when Harry retweeted me, I was right in front of my computer, so I could film something, but when Zayn followed me, I could not. I am not just waiting at my camera at all times of the day for something to happen to me so that I can make a reaction video to it. Um, and also, bigger picture issue of the whole situation is, I have seen a lot of people in the One Direction fandom get a little bit upset that I have had some opportunities that I am very, very grateful for. Um, but then, on the internet, anytime that I talk about One Direction, a lot of people say I'm using the boys for fame, but then if I don't talk about the boys, then I am a bad fake fan. And so it's kind of become a conundrum of no matter what I do, in some of these fans' eyes, mind you, this is 1% of the One Direction fandom, uh, I am evil. And so I have kind of taken it upon myself to just do whatever the crap I want to do, and if that pleases you, I don't care. And if it doesn't please you, I don't care. So you're gonna have to deal with that um, because I'm just gonna do me. Tell me what your feelings are on this picture. This is important. I just feel like if there was a page of the Bible that would attract me to becoming a Christian, 
this would be it. Do you think if any other musician would have done what Beyonce did, they'd be successful? I think there are a couple of musicians that could have done it. Um, Adele, One Direction, Justin Timberlake, maybe Lord could do it. I don't know. I think Beyonce is just the queen and we all must bow down to her. Her album is fantastic. Flawless is everything. Go get the album. I, I mean, I would say go get the album, but clearly everybody already got the album. Archita wants to know, when are you getting new glasses? So this is a question that I get asked like every single day of my life. I change up my glasses every so often, but glasses are really expensive. If you have perfect vision, then you don't know the struggle that is my life. I just discovered Warby Parker. Hannah Hart talked about them in one of her videos. I was like, okay, well these are $95, which is like so inexpensive and when you buy a pair, they give a pair to people in need. They're just like Toms and I have like 10 pairs of Toms. So clearly I was very attracted to that. And so I reached out to them because I was like, okay, I want to talk about them in a video, but I want to get the hookup to you guys. So I got you guys the hookup. If you use warbyparker.com slash Tyler Oakley, you get free three-day shipping for your glasses uh, for the at-home trial. They will send you five pairs to try on. You don't have to go into a store or talk to anybody. You get the pairs, you send back them all, you say you want this one, and then they'll send you back your prescription glasses. It's kind of amazing. You don't have to talk to anybody. They're perfect for internet people because you don't have to talk to anybody. So if you want free three-day shipping, uh, just use warbyparker.com slash Tyler Oakley. Here are the five pairs that I picked out. If you like any of those pairs in particular, let me know which in the comments below and maybe I'll go with your pair. Samantha wants to know, are you participating in Project for Awesome this year? Yes, I am. I am in the Men of YouTube calendar yet again. I was in the Men of YouTube calendar last year. I am in it again this year. All proceeds go to charities, so the link is below. It's super cheap and it's got all of your favorite men YouTubers. Sandra wants to know, are you excited of being nominated by MTV for Vlogger of the Year? Yes, this is like crazy insane. I don't know, like 2013 was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely bonkers. Being nominated by MTV is a pretty big deal. If you want to vote for me, uh, there's some pretty stiff competition, so I would appreciate your vote. The link to that is below. Rochelle wants to know, are you going to celebrate when you hit 3 million? Yes, I am going to celebrate. Maybe I'll do a live stream um, and celebrate with you guys. Who knows? Alex wants to know, when will you stop with this A shit? And who do I kill for teaching it to you? Um, I probably got it from Troy, but uh, I probably won't stop. So, sorry about it. Tyler is flawless wants to know, what do you have to say to the haters overall? A Cassie wants to know, do you know how much we love you? Yes, 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 yes. I feel it every single day when I log on to Twitter and I see your guys' names have something to do with an inside joke about me or your Twitter icons have me in them or on Tumblr, you're tagging me in posts and just like sending me love. Yes, I notice it, I feel it. I just want to give it 100% back to you. My friend T. Kyle wants to know, do you ever feel burnout creatively? If so, how do you re-inspire yourself? I feel burnout when I am making videos that I feel like have to make. So I have always had the rule, never make a video that you feel obligated to make. And it's kind of kept my burnout to a minimum. Um, but when I do feel it, I just try to be inspired by you guys, um, by other content creators. And I go back and watch the videos that made me happiest to make and think about what can I do that's completely different, but still aligned with what I love to do. Pornhub, the porn website would like to know which member of 1D has the D? Uh, well, if I had my way, they would all get the D. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a fabulous life and I will see you guys next time. I got some big videos coming uh, in December. A lot of funny things. Some collaborations that I filmed uh, when I was back in LA. Um, a collaboration that I'm gonna do here. So stay tuned, push the like button if you liked it and subscribe because I'm about to hit 3 million subscribers. That's insane. I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. If you wanna find more of me, you can click any of the videos below. They are my most recent videos or check me out uh, on Tumblr Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, everywhere. Um, the links to all of those are below, but I just want to say thank you. I, I know this is like end credit time. I just want to say thank you because I just appreciate you guys with all of my heart and you guys keep my dreams going. So I hope you guys have a fabulous life and until next time, later.